All right, so we have to convert to either factored form or expanded form, whichever isn't given. Draw a rectangle that would represent it, and then label the links and areas. So this very first one is in expanded form, and we need to put it into factored form. So remember, that means that we need to find two numbers. And these two numbers have to multiply to make 10, and we want them to add up to make 7. So hopefully the two numbers sticking out in your head are 2 and 5. And remember, those two numbers we can use to make our factors, to make the sides of our rectangles. So this x squared plus 7x plus 10 is exactly the same thing as x plus 2 times x plus 5. And then if we want to make a drawing of this, we can start with x plus 2. So we have something x long, and then we're going to add 2 to it. And then we have something x long on the other side, because it's a square, and we're going to add 5 to it. And then we have all of these areas inside of here. And remember, they should add up to this. So this is x squared. We have 5x here. We have 2x here. And then 5 times 2 will give us 10. Next one, same deal. It's also in expanded form. This time we need two numbers. They have to multiply to make negative 12. And we want them to add to make 1. So the numbers that work there are going to be 4 and 3. And one of them has to be negative. So because I want this to add to make a positive 1, I'm going to make 3 negative. So my factors are x plus 4 times x minus 3. And if we want to draw this, I'm going to start with the x plus 4 side. So we have x long, and I'm going to add 4. And then the other one's kind of tricky. We have x long, like this whole thing is x long. But then I'm going to take away 3. So I'm going to go in 3 here and take away 3. So then inside each one of these squares, this whole big one here is x squared. And then this whole big rectangle here is 4x. Then we have to do some subtracting. Inside here is negative 3 times x, or negative 3x's. And then in this space here, we have to do negative 3 times 4, so that gives us the negative 12. So you can see from these two here, this negative 3x and 4x, that they're going to add together to give us that 1x right in the middle there. And then finally, the last one's different. It gives us the factored form. So sometimes it's easier to make the drawing of this first. We have x, and then we're going to add 3. And then we have x. And we're going to add 6. And then inside of here, we have x squared. We have x times 6. We have 6 times 3. And we have 3 times x. And then we can combine any like terms we have, and we will get x squared plus 9x plus 18. Or remember, without doing the square, you can always do double distribution. So we do x times x which gives us the x squared part, x times 6, that's this guy up here, and then we do 3 times x, that's this one, and then we do 3 times 6. And then just like we do in the actual squares, we combine these like terms, and that's how we end up with the 9x.